we now learn how to use our TI Inspire to calculate the area enclosed between two curves. And we're going to do so with the example that we see here. We're asked to find the area enclosed by the two functions f of x, which equals to x squared minus 4, and g of x, which equals to x minus 1. So let's not waste any time and go straight to our TI Inspire. Now we can see here that I'm on the home page of my TI Inspire, and the first thing I need to do is create a graph. So I go ahead in the scratch pad and click on graph. Now I need to enter both of the functions equations. So remember the first was f of x which equals to x squared minus 4. So I go ahead and type x squared minus 4. Done. I now need to enter a second equation and to do that I go ahead and click on menu. I then select the third option graph entry slash edit and I select the first option, function. Now I type in the second function's equation. Remember, that was g of x, which equals to x minus 1. So I type x minus 1, and I hit enter. I can now see both of the functions on the TI. And to make things a little clearer, let me get rid of these labels here. So I just select that, and I delete, and I'll select the second one, and delete that as well. Now the area we're looking for is the area that's enclosed between this red line and this blue curve. And to calculate or evaluate it, I go ahead and click on Menu. I then select the sixth option, which is Analyze Graph. And I then select the seventh option, that's Bounded Area. And I click on that. It now asks me for the lower bound. All I have to do there is find the first point of intersection of these two curves. And when I say first, that's the first point I come across as I go from left to right of the screen. So moving across here, I can see that it's picked up on the line. But now if I go at the intersection point, the calculator actually highlights the fact that it's found the intersection point. So I click on it. Now that I've entered the first intersection point, I move across to the right, and it's asking me for the upper bound. Again, I look for the next intersection point, and it's found it. I then click, and we're done. Our TI Inspire has calculated the area. Indeed, we can see that it's 7.81 right here. And there we have it. We've calculated the area enclosed by these two functions. Now, in an exam, we'll probably need to write a little bit more detail than simply stating that the area equals to 7.81. So let's quickly see how we would answer this question in an exam room. The first thing we need to make a note of are the x-coordinates of these two points of intersections here. And here's how we do that. We click on Menu, we then select Analyze Graph, and we select the fourth option, Intersection. So I click on that. It now asks me for the lower bound. For that, I simply place myself to the left-hand side of the first point of intersection, and I click. It then asks me for the upper bound, so I move to the right and I can see that it's found the point of intersection, so I click. There we go. Now I can now see that this first point of intersection has coordinates negative 1.3, negative 2.3. All I'm interested in here is the x-coordinate though. Okay, now that we have the first point of intersection, let's find the second point. So again, I click on Menu, I select Analyze Graph, I select Intersection, and I click on that. And again, it asks me for the lower bound. So I go to the left-hand side of the point of intersection, and I click. And I move to the right-hand side of the point of intersection, and I click again. And in this case, I can see that the point of intersection has coordinates 2.3 and 1.3. Now that we have the coordinates of the points of intersection of these two curves, we make a note of one last thing. And that is, which of the two curves is above the other between these two points of intersection? Looking at this, we can see quite clearly that the red line is above the blue curve between these points of intersection. All right, now that we've made a note of the x-coordinates, negative 1.3 and 2.3, and that we know that the line is above the curve between the two points of intersection, let's go back to our exam paper to answer the question properly. Area equals to the definite integral, whose lower bound equals to the first point of intersection's x-coordinate. Remember, that was negative 1. 0.3, and whose upper bound equals to the second point of intersection's x-coordinate. Remember, that was 2.3. And remembering that the line g of x was above f of x between those two points of intersection, it's the definite integral of 
g of x minus f of x. And if we wanted to, we could be more accurate than that and state that it's the definite integral from negative 1.3 to 2.3 of x minus 1 minus, in parentheses, x squared minus 4, which equals to the definite integral from negative 1.3 to 2.3 of negative x squared plus x plus 3. And finally, the area is equal to 7.81. And that's the final answer. And there we have it. We now know how to calculate the area enclosed by two curves, as well as how to properly answer an exam question using our TI Inspire CX. And that's it for this tutorial.